got it adjusted straight at me so it doesn't pick up the shadows. Um, I can actually you don't even need side mirrors because this thing is so wide. Like you see the white car right there. Hopefully you guys can see this. I don't know if you can or not. So I'm sitting here in traffic. Um, car is getting up to about 195, 200. You can see the temps over here on the oil and the diff. 185, 136. So everything looks pretty good. Uh, I got the AC off now because it's just a gorgeous day. Probably 75. Uh, I don't know how this is going to do when it's 100 out. It may get a little warmer. I don't know. But right now it's running perfect. Can't complain. So we'll keep uh, driving old. What a mess out here though. Um, so I did 61 miles, uh, five, four of that last night. I think I'm not really sure. And then most of it today, car ran great. A lot of stop and go traffic. I did hit about 80 on the highway. Uh, phew, drives beautiful. Definitely. It is loud though. Earplugs mandatory. I'm hoping with the windows up, maybe air conditioning works great. I used the heater this morning a little bit. It works good. A um, lot of issues trying to get the brake and light inspection for California. Um, I guess DOT requires 20 inch minimum headlight. I'm at 18, so I actually had to jack up the coilovers to get it to pass. Uh, yeah, go crazy. And uh, he wanted to know where the side marker lights were. Well, you know, pre-68, you didn't need those. So I had to basically explain to him what was going on here. Um, he also wanted forward-facing turn signal indicators on the front, which, you know, Daytona's got the little ones, you know, where I put them. So I kind of had to convince him there that, hey, 65, this is the way they came. So he passed it. I got the certificate. So it's back to the DMV. Um, but uh, the only issue I really had is I've got this light. Let me show you right here. This shows when the fan is on. Um, 60, 65 miles an hour, that light starts to come on, I think, because the fan is spinning back feeding. So it's simple diode. I can fix that. Probably won't worry about it right now. Um, other than that, uh, everything else worked great. As I said, I should have some good video up, uh, but yeah, the car worked great. No major rattles. Uh, I had to tape over there because I only had screws on the outer edge of the sill plate. So I taped those down because that was rattling pretty good this morning, as you can see that, hopefully over there. So I taped that down because that was rattling. I said I had a couple rattles in the back. I taped those down. Um, you know, I got carpet back there to get rid of the glare because my rear view camera up into here, uh, the glare coming off the aluminum, you can't see the camera. And then I've re-aimed the camera to almost be more straight at my face. It is have a reflective coating on it. You can use it, as you can see right now. Um, but then it kind of distracts from the actual video screen. And I don't, I'm going to use the video screen because now I can tell that when a car comes up into the edge here, they're on my back edge. So I know I can't pull over. I can't pull over once they kind of get into this range on the screen. So it's beautiful. I got total visibility back there. I tried to videotape it, but I don't think it's going to show up very well. If I'm not trying to take the video of that. Um, but yeah, so 60 miles on it. Car is uh, running great. Now I can start dealing with like the hood hinges, things like that, uh, as we're going through the DMV process. So hopefully next week I will get to DMV, give them the brake and light, and then I'll get 60 day operating permit because I really shouldn't be driving it anymore today because uh, the permit was to and from brake and light inspection. So uh, we're great. Uh, as I said, it climbed to about 202 when I'm in stop and go traffic. As soon as I go down, it's back down to 1, you know, 90 ish. Uh, fan comes on about 198, 200, starts cooling it back down. Air conditioner worked good, so um, I think we're all good. So thanks again for watching. I'll check for leaks, and uh, please hit subscribe. And as I said, there's a ton of videos on previous parts of the build that I'll get on. And uh, then once I start tracking this thing and get some autocross, there'll be more there too. So um, I'll keep the videos coming because I got a lot more to do. You know, I've still got this trim piece here, which I'll do on the other side. Uh, so as I said, I'll keep them coming. So thanks again for watching and uh, have a great weekend.